Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Anastasia here. On my channel, I talk about studies and careers abroad and especially about France. Today, I would like to share with you my personal experience of a master in management in a SEC business school in France. If right now you're thinking about a master abroad or maybe you're considering different schools and want to know what's it like to study in one of the top European business schools or maybe you just need some inspiration for your study abroad project, this video is for you. I'll cover the academics, the courses I like and I didn't like, the of course the job perspective after the program, the student life, the campus and all the main highlights of my ESSEC experience. Before we start, I just wanted to tell you that I also created a database of master management programs where you can compare different schools, find out about the differences in curriculum, internships, scholarships and job perspectives and of course admission requirements as well. The link is in the comments, you can check it out. First of all, I would like to give you some context about my situation and priorities at the time. I already had one master before I started a sec and here is the video why it was not a good one. So I was focused on finding an apprenticeship, which is a contract that helps completely finance a sec master management program and I made a video as well about it and how it financed 100% of my tuition fees. So I was completely focused on my professional objectives, finding and signing up that contract. So this is why my experience in a sec is, first of all, only limited to France. I didn't go abroad, I didn't get any exchanges, I didn't go to Singapore campus. And second of all, I know I missed out on some things and I'll mention them. But the main thing is that I got the objectives that I set for this program. And it is also so flexible that you can completely tailor it to your needs. So first, my main highlight of a sec program is apprenticeship. I was admitted to a SEC in 2016 and I graduated in 2019. It took me so long, three years, because first of all, in the first year, the foreign students did not have the right to do the apprenticeship contract. And for several reasons, my previous time in France didn't count. And second, because a SEC actually imposed a two years long contract. As far as I know, now these conditions are not as strict and you can do a one year contract. At the time, I had to find an apprenticeship contract for two years. The thing is, that this contract, which is between you, your school and a French company, covers 100% of your tuition and also pays you a salary. You can find details uh, um, about this contract in my separate video on this. Many schools offer that, so I'll just briefly mention my experience in a sec. I was working three days a week in a luxury department store called Ponton. I was quite interested in a career in luxury at the time, so this is why I took that contract. And in my first year, I worked as a buyer for the beauty brands. So I was negotiating the contracts and selecting brand and products for the store. In my second year, I switched to marketing, data and CRM team, working on the loyalty program and different CRM campaigns. It was a really exciting experience. And so I was working three days a week and studying two days a week. A sec curriculum, a sex schedule is very flexible, so every trimester I could just pick the courses that I wanted from the catalog. I could sometimes fill all the classes in one day and then, for example, set a Friday free, and I used it to work on group projects and different assignments and finishing work, of course, as well. The thing is, in a sec, there's a very specific system on how do you choose classes. You actually have to do the bidding, like on an auction. Let me explain that. It is a system that is quite common in American universities and is sometimes used in business schools in Europe. So every trimester, you get a certain number of points that you have to bid on different classes. Uh, you open the course catalog, you choose the classes you want, you have a maximum, uh, but you can choose less, for example, like I did because of apprenticeship, I couldn't do like five or six courses per trimester, and you put a certain number of points. Then it's like an auction, you can get your place or not, so it can be sometimes a bit frustrating. Why is it like that? It's because some courses are more popular than others and the number of seats is limited and some professors are also more known, um, some courses are um, more attractive to students than others and they cannot just afford to, to take off all the students. So there is this bidding system and to be honest, since I didn't uh, take many classes per trimester, I always got the one I wanted, so in the end it was fine for me. But some of my friends sometimes didn't get the classes I really wanted, and then they reapplied for next trimester. 
Another great thing in a sec is that uh, the Student Association, the PDE, Bureau des Étudiants, created a questionnaire that they send to students after every trimester. And they fill in their reviews of classes and professors and also put an estimated number of points that they bid for every class. So before the choice of courses in every trimester, you get this enormous Excel sheet and I was like scrutinizing it every trimester, reading reviews, opinions of other students on why this class and this class is better than others and also well, following their advice on the points to bid. And this brings us to the next point, classes and courses I liked and didn't like in a sec. All students of MIM program have to take the obligatory fundamental classes such as finance, marketing, science of organization, strategic management and so on. I liked some of them and really hated others. For example, the marketing and strategic management courses, I really find them outdated because uh, we would go through business cases of Harvard Business School that would date from like years 2000, although there are way more relevant topics to discuss right now. Also, some of the digital marketing courses didn't actually teach us uh, the tools and instruments that are relevant today. For example, during my sex studies, I actually took a course of growth hacking elsewhere uh, in, uh, as, a, as an online course here in Paris. And it taught me way more useful and precise techniques of digital marketing than all my classes at sex. So I think in that way, ESSEC and other business schools fall behind a little bit. I loved the fundamental finance course called Principle of Finance with a professor called Jocelyn Martel that I recommend everyone who goes to SEC. Actually, everybody is scared of this course because it's like legendary complicated, but this professor made it um, sound interesting, funny and accessible and it was a great course. Also, it's probably because I have a background in economics and finance. And my bachelor was quite more challenging academically than a SEC program overall. Um, so I find that class quite, um, quite fun and easy and really enjoyed it. I know I sound like a nerd right now. <laughs> there were some elective courses that I really enjoyed at a SEC. For example, negotiation workshop. It was great. The professor gave us different uh, topics to negotiate and everybody in the group or in the pair had its own objective on uh, where the negotiation has to lead. So it was a great exercise and I learned a lot in that. I had an amazing semiotics class where we would analyze different advertisings and um, brand positionings from a semiotics point of view. And finally, I also had a great course during an intensive week. Uh, meaning that you can take a, uh, one course over just one week, uh, studying intensely every single day instead of doing it over a trimester, and it was a consulting week. So basically it was a training run by Ax McKinsey, and it was um, like McKinsey introductory training for new consultants adapted to sex students. We would see all the process of a consulting project, starting from a brief with a client, interviews, problem solving, and then of course presentation of the final solution. Uh, it was amazing and it really gave me a practical idea of what it is working in consulting and that's actually what I did after graduating from a SEC. So the second highlight of my studies at SEC was my luxury management track and I particularly enjoyed all the courses in SEC related to luxury, which brings us to that point which is LVMH chair in SEC. LVMH Luxury Management Chair was one of the reasons why I actually applied to a SEC in the first place and why I chose it over a chaussée. If you don't know what it is, uh, LVMH is the biggest luxury corporation in the world that owns brands like Dior, Fendi, Guerlain, uh, Moët and Hennessy and others. It's a worldwide luxury leader and the LVMH Chair is a track, a specific track in a SEC program that is done in collaboration with that company. Which meant that, first of all, there is a selection process, um, interviews and group case, um, and we were 25 students selected for that program. And then we had specific classes dedicated to luxury. Some of them were really exciting and interesting. Um, we would study, for example, what was called anthropology of luxury brands related to art and history and culture, and analyze all the marketing storytelling of different brands. Uh, we would also have classes with LVMH representatives from a lot of different teams, uh, from marketing, from retail, uh, legal teams, uh, operations, and they told us about their daily daily job, uh, their daily tasks, and what's it like, and gave us uh, insights on different career paths. 
We also visited some of our LVMH workshops, atelier, uh, Dior Academy, and we even went to Champagne to visit a Champagne brand, Renard. In the end of the program, we presented our business case to a brand called Hublot, uh, which is a watches brand, and we actually went for a trip to Switzerland to present that. So overall, it was a really exciting program, uh, and I do recommend it to everyone who's interested in luxury career. I created a great network of luxury professionals and I still meet people on alumni drinks uh, basically every year, so I maintain that connection with the chair. There are plenty of other professional tracks like that, for example with L'Oréal or with Accenture, so um, I do recommend it. It really allows you to have a better glimpse on a specific industry and to precisely network uh, with professionals in there. When I said that a SEC program is really tailor-made and it's very flexible, uh, what I mean is that you can select all these different electives and tracks and possibilities and do it basically in any order that you want. You can start a program, then go on an exchange or go to Singapore campus and then do an internship, then do a chair, then do a finance track or something like that, and that almost in any order you want. Apprenticeship, which was my case, puts a little bit of limitations on the flexibility of the program, but still you can do all the different specializations and tracks on the way. Usually MIM programs have a very clear structure, like the first year is fundamental, then you have a gap year to do internships or just one internship, and then the second year is your specialization. In a sec, you can even specialize in different fields on the way and your program can take two, three or four years. Next point, student community. The community of ESSEC students and alumni is very diverse, very multicultural and international. Basically, one third of the program is international students, one third comes from uh, French preparatory classes or class prépa, and one third is French people coming from different other bachelors. It's not easy to melt in the French community, and it's the case of all the business schools. However, when I compare my experience to the feedback I get from my clients and my friends from other schools, including to say, um, I feel like ESSEC is very, very open and helps you melt in with the different communities. If you want to uh, interact more with French people, you can select French speaking, French taught classes. Uh, you can also join different student associations. And in my case, for example, I'm mostly hanged out with people from Alabama H chair because we had a lot of classes and projects and events together. The average age is around 22, 23 years old. And usually students would have some first professional experience, maybe a couple of internships, maybe a year of work somewhere, but um, not to seniors. So actually that point, experience and age is important when you select the program so that you meet people who are uh, more or less in the same professional situation as you are, although coming from very different backgrounds and that's extremely enriching. So if you're joining a master program this year, I do encourage you to go and meet all these different people from all corners of the world and do not just stay in your community based on national or the language you speak. Next point, I know you're all thinking about the campus and living in Sergi. So, if you don't know, ESSEC is based in Sergi, which is a suburb of Paris, and it's probably not the nicest place to live or hang out in. So, personally, I lived in Paris during all my time at ESSEC, so I would make the travels on train, RER, um, and it would take me one hour and a half to go and one hour and a half to go back. And that if nothing breaks, there's no strikes, there's no problem on the train line. So that is quite long, um, but um, I enjoyed living in Paris a lot. It was great, and um, but I can't 100% recommend it because it really depends on your situation and uh, whether you have a housing solution in Paris or you would prefer a student residence in Sergi. And what I can tell you for sure is that by living in Paris, I also missed out a lot on different events on ESSEC campus because I would not never stay too late for a party or a drink or an event because I know that I would have to go back to Paris through Châtelet and I wouldn't like to be there around midnight time. Uh, so it was a bit complicated and I didn't stay long on ESSEC campus. However, a lot of my friends from ESSEC, my ESSEC promotion, lived in Sergi student residences that are quite close to ESSEC campus uh, and everything was 
find for them and usually people would move out to Paris uh, when they start their internship or apprenticeship. Here, to be honest, I have to admit that HSA and ACP both win in terms of campus. HSA is also based in a Parisian suburb, but it's quite far, so it's nearly impossible to go back and forth from there to Paris, but their campus has a forest, a lake, it's, uh, it's quite nice actually, and there's a whole student life uh, within that campus. And ACP is based in heart of Paris, uh, around République. So, yes, um, still I'm a fan of ASEC and I do consider it as the best out of the three French main uh, MIM programs. Next point, and probably the most important one, of course, job search and career perspectives after graduation. I'll make a separate video about job search after MIM, but overall I just have to say that if you graduate from HSC, ESSEC, LBS, Bocconi and schools like that, you are already ahead of many, many candidates. So more or less, let me assure you, you'll be fine. That's the whole point of going into a top business school. It's the name of the school that opens you different doors and makes you pass all the screenings you want and the network of alumni. You can probably find um, a SEC or a Chaucer or Bocconi graduate in any company you want. So, in my case, I found my job at a career fair at a SEC. It's as simple as that. It was a consulting career fair with a lot of companies who came on campus to recruit SX students. I printed a bunch of CVs and I met a lot of different people. I met my company. I immediately felt a um, personal fit with them. I got several interviews and it was all happening in April. So five months before my graduation and I got a job offer in May or October. So uh, it helped me a lot and during my process of looking for apprenticeship i interacted a lot with sec students and alumni i reached out to them through a sec email or through linkedin most of them did reply and gave me a lot of valuable advice i did the same for my job search as well and i do it today as an sec graduate i reply to people who reach out to me on linkedin if they want any help or if they want some if they have some questions about my professional background and companies i work for so use that advantage it's probably the main one that we get in a top business school there is also a career service they can help you um, especially if you've never written some cover letters um, in french or you're unfamiliar with uh, a cv format here in france but if you're admitted to a sec you're probably already fine with that however it is always good to get an additional uh, advice and a third look so don't hesitate to use those they would also consult you on what events to attend on campus conferences the affairs how to approach alumni and help you build your career strategy so take maximum advantage of that and career service at ESSEC was actually quite open and helpful for me as well finally and last but not least today I quit corporate career I created my own company and I'm on this entrepreneurship path and again ESSEC is helping me a lot I am part of ESSEC alumni entrepreneurship community and of the mentorship program. So I have a mentor who is an ESSEC graduate and an experienced business angel who can put me in touch with other different alumni or people in his network and it's quite helpful. The Slack community of entrepreneurs is quite active and um, well I'm, I'm really glad uh, that ESSEC uh, is still present in, um, in my life. This is what I wanted to tell you about my personal ESSEC experience. Of course, it's my subjective opinion, but as you got it, ESSEC program is very flexible and so experience is quite different from one student to another. Overall, I'm super happy with my ESSEC uh, program, contrary to my previous master. I do recommend it and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments or to uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram. Uh, since my admission to ESSEC, I keep helping foreign students to get admitted into the top European business schools uh, and to get that amazing experience of studying with brilliant professionals and then kickstart their careers in Europe. So uh, don't hesitate to ask your questions and if you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!